hi guys um, figured I'd give you a quick update with the Tesla coil system and how advanced it's getting so this is the new transmitter um, built built as best as I could I'm just waiting for more advanced materials to come in um, a good solution too when you build it is I had to to make it a little bit better I had to swap out my one turn primary for a um, three turn primary because the primary always has to be a quarter the size of the um, the secondary here to make it ideally resonate properly and get the most wireless effects but um, I was having just a little bit of trouble with the one loop conductor so in theory I, if I had thicker wire if I had wire that was this thick and it was just one loop it would work the best but I needed the primary the spacing of the primary to take up exactly one quarter of the spacing on the um, the top coil here so I'll turn it on and show you some interesting things um, what I discovered is basically we can capture the back EMF power from the primary coil after it's rectified and combine its output with the um, the high voltage DC input from the boost converter to help you assist in powering loads which I'll show so I'll turn that on and we can run a 120 volt AC load while having remarkable wireless power um, just to the point where it, it, it almost blinds you and what I also discovered is if you take a perfectly um, a perfect earth grounded quarter size resident receiver coil and you bring it within the field the power consumption will drop significantly but your bulb still remains pretty well lit so this 120 volt AC bulb is um, is being lit from, it's basically a, a regenerative re regenerative feedback mechanism I implemented we rectified and captured the output of the L1 coil right here the thick one and we combined its output with the um, 80 volt DC input that feeds the system and we can basically run a light bulb very bright so it's a very powerful efficiency savings and if you take a receiver coil and earth ground it I'll show you that savings in power the bulb actually gets brighter and you save power consumption so I'm earth grounding the receiver coil here and you can see a massive saving in our current and our bulb gets brighter and our wireless power effects enhance now this little coil is like a hulk um, I just can't get over how crazy that little coil is and it'll even light up this big tube which is just insane so I can't get over how crazy and well performing this little coil is um, get you a good look at that And again, if you want to build this Tesla coil, basically to build it as correct as possible, it's um, just a Slayer Exciter driven Tesla coil, and you basically have to build it as tall as it is wide. So I have it on a little stand here because the heat sink it uses. Um, if I had the coil, because this, this is acting as a spacer, this piece. If I had the coil just sitting directly on the heat sink, it would cause a little bit of detuning, and it wouldn't turn on. So, this coil is actually very small. I don't I don't need that spacer, but I do need the heat sink for what I'm doing. So, figured I'd show that. And if you want any Tesla coil you want to build to experiment with these effects, make just a simple Slayer Exciter circuit. Um, your primary coil has to be thick gauge wire. I'm using eight gauge, and it has to take up a quarter of the space of your secondary. Um, and that's what will make it perform so phenomenally. So, and the plasma effects in this thing are insane. Like it's, it'll blow your mind. Like look at this. And I can get these effects even stronger if I were to remove the coil that's next to it. I've never seen plasma effects in something that's so efficient on power and so tiny, really.
So I'll be selling these guys about 400 bucks a pop for the full assembled coil, ready to go and be powered up out of the box. Um, I'll probably include the diodes on it that allow you to combine that um, back EMF output with the um, 80 volt input of the ZVS. And I just want to show that effect again. So see, this is just a simple receiver coil here. This is a stand it sits on. Um, like I said, I always heavily earth ground a part of the system here. Just heavily earth grounding part of the system improves the efficiency too. Um, so, once I earth ground, as you see when I earth ground it, the efficiency improves right here. So our efficiency improves when I earth ground it. I bring in the earth grounded resonant receiver coil at the correct point. We save even more power. So it might come to a point where if I can get enough tuned resonant receiver coils around the system, our current consumption will drop to its minimum while we have maximum output. Um, so I figured I'd show that, demonstrate that. And it's just phenomenal. Like if you want to build a real Tesla coil, ideally it would be an air core coil and it would always be as tall as it is wide. Ideally you don't want a primary coil, you want just this coil to be your Tesla coil, but... The Slayer Exciter circuit needs something to oscillate with, so that's why we do the uh, two-coil system, and we try and get the primary and secondary coil in perfect ratios, but um, I plan to improve this even further, take it further, build it on that low dielectric loss firework mortar piping, because the longer this thing is on, a small amount of heat actually builds up in the um, plastic PVC material. And I just can't get over how crazy these wireless power effects are. Like, you, it'll actually slightly burn your hand when you hold this little fluorescent tube. And notice how this behaves opposite to most Tesla coils, you see. Um, the closer you get to it, the less it will spark, the less power it will draw. This coil emits virtually no sparks. That's not its purpose. Its purpose is the utmost efficient uh, wireless power capability. You basically want the system to act as an energy pump when you earth ground it to give you these phenomenal wireless power effects that almost don't make sense. Like this is just a little receiver light. I touch it to distant pieces of metal, it will glow very bright um, to the point where it's baffling. That's the pumping effect. So it's just crazy. And again, basically what I did here is I rectified the output of our primary coil with these two diodes, combined that output with the 80-volt uh, DC input that feeds our Tesla coil circuit and gives us the, uh, the power. So it's a form of regenerative feedback to run the bulb. And you can make it even more efficient by bringing in earth-grounded coils and connecting them. So I'll demonstrate that. You can see our current drop significantly. Now, if I were to probably tune this with a ferrite rod in here, it would probably consume even less power. So this would probably be a very good output to limit the current, limit the current output here, and use it to rapidly charge batteries. That would probably be very effective. So that's that. That's the coil. Um, its effects are phenomenal. It makes crazy plasma effects. Um, I'll shut it off with the switch back here. And the cleaner you build it, and the more you, the cleaner you build it, the more you clean up the wiring, the better the circuit looks, um, the better it will work. Like try and build everything as neat as possible, and it will perform as efficient as possible. So that's how it looks. A little bit of heat builds up in the actual plastic material. And basically a test a real Tesla coil can give you um, a boosted basically a real Tesla coil can generate you normal house power and it can give you wi high frequency wireless power at the same time very efficiently and the house power will have a regenerative feedback mechanism in it from the efficiency gain of earth grounded receiver coils and that's really basically where you see the savings and it's just crazy you can you can make this thing nearly have its output nearly equal to its input as well as having 
loadless wireless power effects that don't bog your system down. Like, for example, if we can maximize this en these energy taps, these distant energy taps, the transmitter experiences no form of electrical drain. So that's what I wanted to show, what I wanted to say. Um, and the plasma effects are just phenomenal. To get this thing to really scream, I would love to drive it with a more powerful ZVS, probably three or four hundred volt uh, input with a um, that can probably three or four hundred volts that can handle about an amp, and this thing would scream. So, just absolutely crazy. And thank you, everyone. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, support us. Everything's in the description. And yeah, if you want to buy this coil, it'll come pre-assembled. It'll be... I want to keep it under $400 because of the cost of labor of building it too and the materials. Um, but it's just, it's a phenomenal performing coil. It's just crazy. And again, I feel my fingertips burning from that. And the closer, the heavier you bog down the coil with a wireless load, the less power it consumes, which is opposite to, to, to uh, traditional incorrectly built Tesla coils. And the reason that occurs is due to the earth-ground energy pumping effect and the negative resistance injection from the SIDAC, S-I-D-A-C. So, that's just crazy. And yeah... Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, help us grow. Um, anyone wants to buy one of these guys, they'll come ready to go, out of the box. Probably close to 400 bucks. I try and keep the price as low as I can get. But um, they're a pain in the ass to make, they're a bit time consuming. And I gotta make a little bit of money on them too. So, I don't think anyone's quite selling Tesla coils that are built exactly as tall as they are wide. That's really what gets you the phenomenal effects. Um, and it can be taken much further than this. You can use the utmost best components, probably sick MOSFETs, SIC, and uh, wolf speed diodes, which I plan to do, and build the thing as tall as it is wide on a very low loss dielectric piping or tubing. Basically that HDPE mortar tubing, I might have said that wrong, I always forget the damn name, but it's it's a firework mortar tubing that has almost no dielectric loss so that's that feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you everyone